currently New Jersey does not have Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, but we do have a closely related species called Aedes albopictus here in New Jersey. Um, it's important to note that here in New Jersey we have many different mosquito species that actually do cause uh, mosquito-borne illnesses such as West Nile virus, Eastern equine encephalitis, so we always precaution residents of New Jersey to take steps to protect themselves from mosquito bites, to protect from any sort of mosquito-borne illnesses that might be carried by our New Jersey mosquitoes. So that includes things like um, making sure that you wear long sleeve shirts, wearing pants to cover your skin um, to um, minimize the amount of skin that's exposed to potentially get bitten by mosquitoes. Also make sure to use an EPA registered um, insect repellent. Follow the directions um, uh, to make sure that you're using the insect uh, repellent appropriately, and then also to um, take uh, take into mind, um, you know, trying to stay indoors. And when you're indoors, um, to make sure that you use screens on your doors and your windows to prevent mosquitoes from coming inside, and to maybe use the air conditioning as well, just to keep yourself comfortable. And of course, we have to be um, aware of um, trying to minimize mosquito breeding um, areas. So around your home, around um, you know where you might uh, live, to um, take a look at uh, standing um, stagnant water, eliminate um, uh, stagnant water, um, standing water such as water that is in um, uh, bird baths or um, water that might accumulate in like tires that might be sitting around the lawn and, and other areas just to try to minimize the mosquito populations in your area.